Our geeky science for the day. Uh, this this is absolutely fascinating. Oncologist and geneticist Ami Bot was intrigued by this. Now this is way back at the beginning of COVID. Was intrigued by the fact that people were throwing up and getting diarrhea from COVID, which is supposed to be a respiratory tract infection. Usually you don't get diarrhea from the common cold, which is a respiratory tract infection. So what's going on? So he started taking stool samples from people who had COVID. And then uh, thousands of years away, another guy, this was at Stanford, Bot was, uh, I believe he was in India. Um, at Stanford, Timon Adolf was puzzled by gut symptoms in infected people. Oh, this is the Medical uh, University of Innsbruck in Austria. He started to assemble specimens too, GI tissue biopsies. It's from, you know, colonoscopies and stuff like that. And, and w the piece over at nature.com says, two years into the pandemic, the scientist's foresight has paid off. It find that the pieces of the SARS-CoV-2 can linger in the guts for months after an initial infection. The findings add to a growing pool of evidence supporting the hypothesis that persistent bits of virus, non-virus ghosts, Bot has called them, could contribute to the mysterious condition called long COVID. This is absolutely fascinating. I mean, there is so much we still don't know about this virus. And yet Donald Trump just unleashed it on the American public. Australia is very much like the United States. Same language, very similar political system, very similar you know, economic dynamics, uh, about the same size middle class, all that kind of stuff. Australia, if, if Australia had been the same population in the United States and they had done what Donald Trump did, they, uh, you know, 900,000 Australians that would have died, or, or to, to phrase it correctly, had Donald Trump done what Australia did in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic, 900,000 Americans would still be alive and they wouldn't be fighting long COVID, the ones who survived. It's incredible. A lot on the table here. I'll pick up your phone calls on the other side of the break. It's 27 minutes past the hour here on your media support group for We the People.